Illegality is not a way to live. I cannot wish anybody to live in illegality. All these 12 years, I'm looking how can I find a place to sleep, how can I find food. Only that I'm thinking about. Personally, I can't tell someone to come or not to come. You can come if you have your chance. Et que voilà, tu, tu peux gagner ta vie. Ou bien tu peux traîner comme tu moi, ça fait déjà 10, 10 ans. You see the people in behind me, they lived six years from house to houses. They don't have income, they don't have a place to stay. To stay. Today they get affected. So you end up on this situation if you come and you have been denied. I was hoping like something is gonna be better because I saw it on TV like Europe is perfect without knowing like I come in a, I come in a land which is not my country, I come in a no man's land. So I reach here, I find myself, it's not the way I saw it on TV, it's not the way people talk about it. Coming here and end up on the streets is really heavy for me because the situation we are living from houses to houses is really traumatizing. Then you find yourself a criminal without committing no crime. So all these years I lost, I'll never gain it back. I'll never turn my life back again. Even if you come here, people, a lot of people come here, they think they're gonna get rich. You know, when you come here, you find yourself, it's not the way you think it's gonna be. a lot of false information that people are giving to people back in Africa. People make others believe that everything will be fire once you come here, but that is not true. I have talked to someone that has been here for 20 good years without document. He's in the street. But back home, people believe that he's okay. I asked someone, why don't you tell people the truth? I was told, let them come and experience for themselves because they won't believe. Believe and know it's all full of lies. When you get here, I didn't know the process that to get paper, my impression was sure it was perfect. But after I even I filled the form and they sent me in the refugee camp, you have no little or no right. And the worst thing in Sweden is your personal number. Without your personal number, you are like out of the system, unless you have <laughs> the personal number. So you are not a person. So you couldn't have a bank account, you couldn't rent an apartment. Even the healthcare, you just have the basic. You have no right. Makes you feel you are a subhuman being. The only possibility, legal possibility, to come to Germany for a refugee or for a migrant is to seek asylum. Even 90% of them know they, they have no reason for asylum. Still, they try to come here to, to win any kind of uh, economic perspective. We have to take away all this uh, administrational mess that everybody is dealing with asylum, with the law of asylum. Uh, which makes things very complicated. Uh, it's, it's keeping them away from work for years. And um, it's creating really lots of situations that are not favorable. My own situation, they frustrate me a lot. It's nine years now I'm in this country. I try to do my, everything's what they want for me to do. But for them, it's still not enough. Not only me, most of the people out of procedure, they're living by fear. For example, when police come in here, they ask documents. You can get surprised right now I'm going to prison, only because I don't have documents. They say it's detention, but for me it's a prison.
quand on est sans papier, euh, on se considère comme quelqu'un qui est euh, en terre vivant. On n'a pas le droit de logement, on n'a pas le droit à étudier, on n'a pas le droit de se former, on n'a pas le droit de travailler. On est dépou dépourvu de tous les droits. Moi, je suis qui pour dire à quelqu'un de ne pas venir voilà, La liberté de circulation est valable pour tout le monde. Et donc, euh, même celui qui veut venir, moi, je ne dirais pas de venir ou bien de, de venir, je... mais non. Ce que je peux faire, c'est de lui dire la vérité et lui décrire la réalité qu'on vit ici en tant que migrant, en tant que sans papier parfois, voilà, en tant que... Il faut que les gens sachent cette vérité. Parce que quand on est en Afrique, on est, oh, on est omnibulé, on pense que non, tout se ramasse ici. En, en tant que sans papier, j'ai souvent été hébergé par des amis. Et quand je regarde les amis qui aujourd'hui vivent dans les occupations, et un mois, le lendemain, ils sont expulsés. Moi, c'est des situations qui me peinent. Parce que on devait tout faire pour que personne ne soit dans la rue. Il faut aller vers des solutions durables. We are here, we are an undocumented group, which we squad in places and houses that the way we live. And every two months, actually, we got an order from the court to get infected. And uh, up to now, since this morning, 9 o'clock, we are in the street. We don't know where to go and uh, we don't know where to end, actually. But most of them, they speak in Dutch and they integrate really well in the society. Only they could not have full right as a human to rent a house or to pay taxes, or to go to work, or uh, to have health, health insurance. We have so many people that are sick, which they cannot get no help. Even if, when you call the implants for them, if there is an accident happens, it doesn't mean that they get help. Only the implants come and take them for one hour, assess them, and check how, how they feel and that, and they get at the end paracetamol, and also they will send to the street again back. Thank you.